check this out. This is the perfect hidden base entrance. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to MCPE. Today we're doing another redstone tutorial, this time on a 2x2 hidden door that is flush with the wall. Now this is modified from a PC video that I uploaded a long time ago, so if you guys want to go check out the original, I will link it down below. But now, let's go ahead and take a look at this door. Now, as you guys can see, we have a wall right over here, and what's cool about this is that the door is actually hidden within it. So now if I go ahead and hit this button, as you guys can see, our pistons will pull our blocks back, and then our doorway opens up, and we could use this as an entrance to a secret base, or just a hidden entrance in general. Now, as you guys can see, this is really cool, and if you come back over here and hit this button yet again, it will close back the wall, and it was like it was never there. Now, I did make two versions of this, so let's just go ahead and take a look at the second version, which is more true to the PC build, but this one is kind of tricky because as you guys can see it does create the nice flushed wall But if you go ahead and activate it it will kind of push our pistons up so you can't see it But in order to do that there is some redstone being exposed at the bottom And there's really no way to cover this up besides placing down two blocks over here So I opted to do the first version because it looks much cleaner Even though this one does have these pistons like pushing our sticky pistons up into the wall either Either way, let's go ahead and now take a look at how to build this. Alright, so to get started, you want a 6x3 area. Once you have that, you want to place down two blocks right over here, with two sticky pistons facing up right on top of that, and then the floor blocks right over there. Then you want to expand this into a 2x3 area, grab yourselves another block of your choice, build up one block over here, then expand this into a 2x2 area. Do the same thing on the other side, build up one block over here, expand it into a a 2x2 two two area, then you want to grab yourself some sticky pistons and place it facing towards the middle just like this, then come across this side, place down two sticky pistons over there, then you want to go ahead and place down a sticky piston facing towards the front area just like that on either end, place down your wall blocks right over here, and then destroy our temporary blocks which is these clay blocks, and then we can get started with the rest of the build. Alright, so there we go, destroy those blocks, grab ourselves another block of our choice, build out one one, two blocks over here, one, two over there, then connect it up in the middle just like that. Then you want to go ahead and grab yourselves another block of your choice, place down one, two, three, four, five, six blocks just like that. Grab yourselves a redstone repeater, place a redstone repeater right at the back of the sticky piston facing towards the edge. Then do the same thing on the other side, set this boat to three ticks. Then you want to place on a bit of redstone dust here and there, and then all along these blocks just like that. And that's basically going to power our sticky pistons. Now what we need to do is grab ourselves another sticky piston and also a block of redstone. So let's just go ahead and do that. A sticky piston right over here. And what you want to do is basically place it at the bottom of that uh, sticky piston at the top. Place down a block of redstone right on the face of that. Come across to the other side. Place down another sticky piston facing down with another block of redstone just like that. And then what you want to do is grab Grab yourselves another block of your choice, build up two blocks over here, then place down a redstone torch over here with a bit of redstone dust on top of that, inverting the torch. Do the same thing on the other side, build up two blocks over here, then place down a redstone torch on the side of this block, and then a bit of redstone dust there, sending the piston back down into the ground. You can destroy these bottom blocks if you do wish. And now we can go ahead and continue building up the structure. All right, so what we need to do is uh, pretty much, I would say, come over here, place a lever down, then flick that lever. And as you guys can see, it will push out the top layer. So the top layer is now completed. So is the bottom layer. We just need to connect it up together. Now, to connect this up together, what we need to do is place down a block on the side of this sticky piston. Then you want to place down a block down like this, a block over, then two blocks down over here, and essentially create a small V and this V is basically going to allow us to grab some redstone dust place it over here and there it's going to go into this block powering that sticky piston and then powering the pistons at the bottom so let's just go ahead and do that one more time place down a block on the side of that sticky piston then you want to go ahead and build down a block like that and then you want to build a block up like that and then a block down over here 
and then you want to grab yourself some redstone dust, place it over there and over there, going into this block, and now we could go ahead and activate the system by placing our inputs right on this block over here, flick that lever, and as you guys can see, it will basically create the wall. Now all you need to do is place down some blocks over here and cover up the rest of the wall, and that should be your hidden entrance. All right, so let's give this a final test. What I did over here was added in a redstone repeater that's going to power this block in order to power our contraption. And I place down a lever on this side. Basically, I flick that lever to close the door and then flick it again to open it. Yet again, making for a nice hidden base entrance or a secret doorway. Anyways, guys, that's basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial. I hope you did enjoy it. I'm sorry for the rain, but if you guys did enjoy it, please take one second to smack the like button i would definitely appreciate it leave a comment down below and suggest another redstone creation that you like to see in mcpe and i will try to bring that for you guys as well as don't forget to subscribe to see some of the best redstone creations in mcpe since this is a redstone channel either way if you watched all the way to the end type in hashtag team twist into the comment section so i know how awesome you are and this was twist and i'll see you guys next time Thank you